I've long said when it comes to the effectiveness of tourniquets, I want to know how effective are they at occluding arterial blood flow high in the thigh, which is one of the largest parts of your extremities, verified by Doppler ultrasound. So what is a Doppler ultrasound? This is a fairly inexpensive uh, portable Doppler ultrasound. It uses high frequency sound waves to measure and detect blood flow through your arteries. So what you'll see is they do come in different kinds of probes. This is an eight megahertz probe, sometimes referred to as a vascular probe. The sound waves are gonna emanate out of this flat tip. Sound doesn't conduct very well through air. It conducts better through uh, a liquid medium. So it really behooves you to also have some kind of ultrasound gel. If we put a little bit of gel on our probe, turn it on, sound up as high as we can go. Then to put it on an extremity, anywhere you can feel a pulse is obviously where there's measurable arterial flow. So that's my radial artery. Now, because the tip of this is covered in goopy jelly, it'll slide around. So it's best to anchor a finger or a few on the body part so you know if you're slipping. Right now we don't hear any blood flow because I'm not aiming the little laser beam of sound waves at my radial artery. But if I just sweep across, I'm now directly on top of it. Sometimes we fan to make sure we get the best sound window. So why is Doppler ultrasound important? Why can't I just put a tourniquet on and say that my radial pulse went away? I lose the ability to feel my radial pulse long before the Doppler ultrasound can no longer measure blood flow through that artery. Uh, I've been told, I don't know if this is a truly accurate number, that most Dopplers can measure arterial blood flow down to about 20 millimeters of mercury, which is substantially lower than you would ever be able to palpate in a pulse. Yes, that does mean that even if a tourniquet occludes blood flow on Doppler ultrasound, it doesn't mean that there's 100% cessation of blood flow through that artery. That would require a much more sophisticated ultrasound device to prove that, but this is a very good surrogate marker. And these are now fairly inexpensive from a lot of different manufacturers in the $175 to $250 range, which gives you the ability to add them to class to prove to people how tight does your tourniquet actually need to be to occlude blood flow? Is your improvised tourniquet actually occluding blood flow? You can take the guesswork out of it and you can know.